anything on the bottom of anything. The guys on the bottom are on the top. You see, of course, he fans. Of course, you gotta be this before the guy is too advanced on the simulation. If you understand what I'm saying. Like, if he goes for my arm and he has my arm already all set up, then you have to do something else. But this is gonna anticipate everything. It's how you trust, trust your hips forward. So I'm here, don't go try it for some. Especially if I'm fighting. 
find a guy to do a lot of uh, what's that, uh, submissions, and I want to work that hip, and I have I want to you know have this bottom motion, and my punches should be coming more from the top instead of being from here. All right. So I'm going to be doing jiu jitsu now. So you're going to, you're going to keep this base. All right. Don't keep your arms together. All slow, as all as possible. Okay. I don't like to stand up without controlling my arm, especially when it's grappling. Not when you do it. Alright? So I'm always going for one arm. And I'm going to do two ways to open the guard. Controlling the arm at the same side, or controlling the arm and most of stand up and switch to control. So I'm going to do two ways. Remember, there's all basic guard passes, but for a lot of people, um, that's that's convenient now as well. When I stand up, there's some things I can teach for the last stronger person to stand up with a better mechanic to do like a half circle as you're standing. Okay, I like to stand on. Um, here, first, when I'm controlling one arm, two arms, especially one arm, I always post my foot first on the side of the arm and control it to not get swept. So I'm always here. Now, so that's the thing. You guys will squat here, right? With your heels behind the butt like this, right? On your toes. So this, if I try to stand up from here, it would be really difficult. So I pull some of it, but I, even out, because I have to control the arm. If we stand without controlling the arms, then my leg is going to be as far as I'm doing now. Okay? So if I'm here now, my foot should be a little bit forward past my knee line here. So I have this range of motion here. Because that's what's going to start how we to make the half circle. Right? So for a lot of people, this is difficult. Right? So that's why where it feels like that's too difficult to do, because we're going to do like half circle. One. Two. That's easier. The other thing is, imagine I had a patch on here. That's where my center gravity is. So it's easier for him to try to get me off balance that way. So I always find my center gravity sitting right there. Okay? So I'm going to start with this motion very quick, like five times, and I'm going to work the guard passes. So same arm, okay? Control. Post, if, and that's one very important thing, if I'm staying, to stand up, it's better to have your toes pointing out, but once I stand up, look what happened. I cannot keep my toes out because you're going to sink in between my legs here. So what I have to do is, don't close too much, you want just the side of your knees trapping his hips and I'm right here. You can try to attack whatever and we're going to work. If it tries to go hold my ankle or whatever. Okay? So from here, good posture, and then I can push it down. His knee, but right now we're just going to stop right here. So we break it down just like in two steps. So here, post, close, and I'm right here. Alright? Don't keep your legs straight. Bend a little bit. Good center of gravity. Keep your elbow in. Alright? And then we're going to work guard passing from here. Go ahead. 